Here are all the weapon changes with the Season 2 launch update for Warzone. A number of improvements were made to MW weapon types. All ARs have increased movement speed while aiming down sights. Battle rifles and marksman rifles also see that increased movement speed while aiming down sight and while crouched. And lastly, LMGs and snipers see that increased movement speed while ADSing while crouched and now while strafing. Brings those MW2 guns a bit more in line with the base movement MW3 weapons have naturally. But now into the weapon specific changes. For ARs, the Ram caught a damage nerf. The MCW got a mobility nerf and the Holger 556 also got a mobility nerf. Then the TR-76 Geist got balanced with buffs and nerfs to its damage profiles. For battle rifles, the Bass B got several nerfs. The MTZ-762 caught a nerf to its semi-auto fire only. So all good in full auto still. And then the Sidewinder got a buff. For SMGs, the new HRM9 caught a nerf to its max damage range, but the WSP caught buffs across the board. Shotguns took heavy hits in this update as the Lockwood 680 nerfed, the Haymaker was nerfed, the Riveter was nerfed, the Bryson 890 nerfed, KB Broadside with a surprise buff in the mix, the Lockwood 300 specifically to its Dragon's Breath ammo got a nerf and then the same nerf to the MX Guardian. Moving to LMGs, the Pulum Yacht or the PKM caught another nerf to specifically the Bullpup Conversion Kit with damage drop-offs added and to its far damage. The new tech Evolve here with a large wave of buffs so it could be fun to mess around with now. The other tech caught a mobility nerf, the Icarus 556 got a mobility buff as well as the Rowl LMG from MW2 and the RPK. For marksman rifles, the KVD Enforcer got nerfed, the MTZ Interceptor got nerfed, the MCW 6.8 got balanced with some buffs and a nerf, the LMS from MW2 got buffed, as well as the Crossbow got a buff. Now for the sniper rifles, the XRK Stalker got a buff as it can now one shot to the head in public lobbies up to 50 meters, similar to how the Car 98 and the Swiss could to a certain range towards the end of OG Warzone. The Longbow was balanced, the Signal 50 was nerfed, as well as the SPX from MW2. Almost done here with a couple more changes. For pistols, the conversion kit for the Renetti got a buff. The WSP Stinger got a buff. Desert Eagle from MW2 was buffed, as well as the Basilisk. For melees across the board, they saw a decrease to the lunge distance by 30%. This impacts the Gutter Knife and the Karambit from MW3, as well as the Combat Knife, the Dual Kadashis, the Dual Kamas, and the Pickaxe from MW2. And the very, very last change comes to the BFB muzzle that is part of most meta loadouts out there so it helps a lot to control recoil. It has been nerfed quite a bit as the gun control and the vertical recoil control benefits were decreased and they increased the ADS, the sprint to fire and the aim walking speed penalties and also added a bullet velocity penalty. So take that all into account when making your loadouts. It does still have that advanced UAV ping penalty for using the muzzle on top of these changes. So maybe you wanna try out the VT spirit fire for your long range option or maybe the sonic suppressor for your close range option, figure out what works best for you. But that about wraps it up for this video. If you like these short info based videos where I give you everything you need to know without any extra fluff, let me know by hitting that like button. If this is making you second guess your loadout or maybe you have a top tier loadout after the update, put it down in the comments and I will give it a go. Gonna be jumping into fortunes keep and rank trying out a bunch of weapons to get you a video on the top primaries and secondaries later this week. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay in the know with all things Call of Duty from news, updates, loadouts, tips and tricks and more for Warzone, Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Mobile as we get closer to that launch. Appreciate you hanging with me but above all stay safe out there and I'll catch you in the next one.